can't hear you. <laughs> Hello, let me share my screen. my current slide. So hello, my name is Sharon Kimberlin, and I'm presenting about my ministry project. I'm excited. Um, the Lord actually kind of switched it up on me this year, and he gave me a wholeness center to talk about and to open up. Um, we had established a ministry and it had just started that when school started. So I thought it was going to be part of that. And he shifted on me. Um, and so he's so good, but he has prepared me and he knows the plans. So it is going to be a wholeness center. And a word he gave me, a powerful word he gave me at the beginning was kaya. Um, kaya means several things in Hebrew, um, to revive, to live. Um, I'll go into that in a little bit. Um, but with that, he gave me that word to hold on to, right, to live, because we have eternal life, right, it's just, it's all about location, <laughs> location, location, um, so one of the scriptures he gave me for the word kaya is um, Habakkuk 2, 4, so see the enemy is puffed up, and his desires are not upright, but righteous, the righteous person will live by his faithfulness. So we see that will live in there is the kaya. Um, will live in Hebrew is kaya. And kaya has several powerful meanings. And we see this in Strong's definition. And I have that here on the screen. Um, it is to live, um, whether literally or figuratively. Um, it is to revive, um, to keep alive, make alive life, leave alive, certainly give, promise life, um, nourish up, quicken, I love that one too, recover, restore, um, and to save. So for me, Kaya, he gave me this word as a warrior cry um, so that we can claim this. We can claim this over ourselves. He's called us to live, to persevere, to live an abundant life and we can claim this kaya over us and we can also claim it over other people so our from generation to generation we can claim that um and that will help revive now revival starts individually first um we see that um in ourselves i was taking a great walk with the lord and um he gave me that when I was walking, he was like, no, revive is in you. It's in your cells at first, your inner healing and your physical healing. And from that, um, you know, we'll live, well, Kaya, um, where we see things start interfering with that is when we get out of alignment, um, our wholeness is somehow broken or a little bit skewed. Uh, we see that, um, just some separation has occurred. And if we look at Matthews 22, 37 through 39, the greatest commandment, <laughs> I mean, Jesus said it. Jesus replied to them, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. So if we see that, that greatest commandment, and if there is that separation from God, where we're not loving the Lord, our God with all our hearts and souls and our minds, there's that separation. And also we look into the separation from ourselves, love your neighbor as yourself. So we have yourself in there. If we're not taking care of ourselves, and loving ourselves as God sees us, our identity in him as he sees us, then there's a separation that occurs. Um, when we don't love others, there's a separation that can occur. So with that, when we get out of alignment, then our body can become diseased or it is, it, it is in dis-ease, right? There's just that there's no ease, there's no peace. So when that separation happens, it's usually an occurrence of an identity issue. I know I have in my project, um, <clears throat> I typed out a very detailed testimony in there. And with that, the Lord, I had a great encounter with the Lord. He took me back in, like, I was literally walking into my car, out of my carport, and he just took me back to my past, into my childhood when I was about six or seven years old. And he showed me an incident where trauma occurred. <clears throat> and with that, 
I could see people talking. Sometimes I couldn't hear their words. Their mouth would just move. And I was like, oh, wow. You know, what is, what is this? <laughs> what is this? And he showed me how after all that trauma that occurred, he showed me that um, he was with me. He showed me, he held me as a little girl, chokes me up every time because he's so good. Oh, he's so good. He held me, he struck me, and he said the words, you are strong. And I remember looking up at him and I said, I'm not strong. I look at me, I'm weak. And he's like, no, you are strong. You, and one day you'll be a strong warrior for me. So in taking me back to that, got me the name for the ministry, strong, Warriors for Jesus, because I am a strong warrior for Jesus. And he healed that. He showed me in that. And then about six months later, I kept pondering the question of why would I see lips move? But I you know, couldn't hear words at times. And it was about six months later. And he said, oh, well, because God doesn't lie. He couldn't show me the lies that were spoken over me because they were lies. The enemy tries to break you and the enemy can try to break you in a point in the childhood. If he can get you when you're young and try to put that trauma in there and it goes unresolved and unhealed, you may not reach the full potential of the calling the Lord has for you. So with that, with the wholeness center, it involves physical and inner healing. And uh, the Lord's just so good for that, right? So identity issues, can it, that, that can enter that disease. If I believe the words of the enemy that was spoken over me, the lies that were spoken to me when I was little, I, I, I wouldn't be able to function. I could not function in loving others. I could not function in loving myself. I could not function even in loving God. I could not function in that because that separation of my identity and who he says I am. So <clears throat> with the wholeness center, I have suffered, you know, various ailments throughout my life with, with healing physical problems and, and things and the doctor saying this and saying that. I don't claim any of it over me in Jesus name. <laughs> so the doctors can say that. I don't claim it. Um, so um, I always take it to Father. What do you say, Abba? What do you say? I have his DNA. We all have his DNA in us. Um, and he said his blood covers everything. Um, so that wholeness is the complete alignment of our body and our soul and our spirit with God. So this wholeness includes that inner healing and that physical healing. Um, I was talking to or was reading about uh, Pastor Henry and um, he was he was saying that 80 percent of disease um, is spiritual. There is a root in there and that's from that. It usually stems from that separation of some kind. There's separation that can cause bitterness, um, unforgiveness, any of those things. So it's very interesting to walk it out over all these years and then the Lord um, give me a ministry to help with that. So it's very interesting how he does that, right? Um, in that, um, let me go back here, sorry. So in that wholeness, in that inner healing, the ministry that he has given me to do, it also has um, some aspects of discipleship because um, we are called to do that, but it has that discipleship aspect for leadership development. Um, I believe that's a big thing in any ministry. We need to pass that on to others on how to um, have godly, God first ministry. We need um, to focus on Him and not serve out of a place of um, still feeling like an orphan um, or still or serving out of a place from slavery. Um, he's called us up higher. Than that. Um, he calls us priests. He calls us chosen. Uh, we can see that in 1 Peter 2 9. He tells us, He has chosen us and that we are priests. So we do not have to walk into serving Him from that place of striving, from that place of, uh, oh, I've got to, you've got this calling on me and I, I have to perform. It's not a performance. It's a sitting back. It's resting in the Holy Spirit and having the Holy Spirit guide you where he wants you in every aspect of it. So it's, it's a 
first seek him, right? First seek him in his kingdom. And what do you say, Lord, you want us to go into this? So there's the aspect in it of um, leadership development in that. Um, also uh, development with, um, you know, identity and speaking that into people. He has had me train um, in Sozo and our healing and, and also on the aspect of um, group fitness. I'm a nationally certified group fitness instructor. He's led me to a great ministry that does fitness and wellness. So he's prepared me long before I realized, oh, wait a minute, I'm going to have a wholeness center. <laughs> it's his wholeness center, but he's going to have me steward at, at, at this time for such a time as this. And in that aspect, there's going to be the leadership development, the physical healing, the inner healing. And it's that encompassing that whole um, body, soul, and spirit. So you see your spirit can be that little, that little circle in there, but we want it wider. We want it to spread out and cover our soul and, and to cover our mind. And so we can soak into what he has for us. Um, with that, um, let me go in here. He's so sweet to give me um, the vision in that and um, to start it up. Um, he also showed me one time at Morningstar when we were there for conference during worship. He, um, the, on the screen, um, there was a beautiful lion up on the screen in a field of wheat. And the lion was walking through the field of wheat. And I was sitting there thinking, and I wasn't even thinking about the ministry project at the time. And in my mind popped up the question, when did my ministry start? And with that, the Lord gave me, and I'm going to read it off here so I get it exactly, <laughs> exactly right. Um, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, when the lion, the enemy, trampled on your ground, he was not aware that he was knocking off seeds. Um, these many seeds took ground and were multiplied. <clears throat> so the, enef the enemy is the counterfeit lion. Um, and it tell, scripture tells us you, to be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. So I believe that's um, for everyone. I believe at some point the enemy's tried to trample in on our, our fields, on our wheat, knocking off seeds and thinking he's doing harm, but God's going to use it for his glory and he's going to multiply that. He's going to multiply that to every, everyone in that ministry. We just have to keep pressing on. We have to see it for like it is. The enemy is prowling around like a roaring lion. That word like, he is not that. He's not the roaring lion. He's not the lion of Judah that's coming back. Ooh, okay. <laughs> is so good so with the ministry and um <clears throat> getting things going with it he's had me make create a uh daily check-in sheet which the fun thing about introducing the holy spirit um with your wholeness with your body because i had that disconnect i had that disconnect with my body i'm like oh jesus you love me you love my spirit you love my heart but I didn't realize till a few years ago, oh, you love my body too, you know, and with trauma, you can have disconnect from your body and you can totally just disconnect. And it doesn't have to be necessarily what you think of trauma. It can be a sickness. It can be um, something that's happening. You just kind of disconnect and you don't feel anymore. You don't feel what your body is doing. And so in that coldness, getting back into that connection, sometimes a daily check-in is good. Um, so I've created this one and it has um, in there things you're grateful for. I also want to contain this into an instructional book to put with that because if you are tracking every little thing, like I'm going to track every little thing I eat, it may be time to take a break. It depends on what the Holy Spirit says. So with the Holy Spirit driven wellness, you get to rest into him. Wait, oh, I'm tracking everything all the time. I'm going at this and, and white knuckling it. He may want you to take a rest from that. So 
with this tracking, we've got today I'm grateful for because we enter his gates with thanksgiving and praise. So today I'm grateful for, we're going to name three things that we're grateful for. And then to write the word, we get to write the word, soak into it. And um, we're going to track sleep. We're going to track um, how much we move. Now, as a fitness teacher, um, we want to move in love. We don't want to white knuckle that either at the gym. We want to move in love and um, move our bodies and, and really just rest into him and Holy Spirit. What do you say? Can you do this with me? Can you lift these weights with me? Can you walk with me? Can you do this exercise with me? So we have that. And of course, water. I mean, we all know we need the living water, right? We need that. But we need that water to heal, heal our bodies. Our, water, our bodies are mostly composited of water and um, the, the Lord is the living water and we need both. We need all of it. <laughs> and then we just add a little fun thing of top three things to do today and how you feel because we don't want that disconnect. We want to know how we feel. I think a lot of times in uh, Christian worlds, you're like, oh, you can't trust your feelings no, you can't act on your feelings, right? We, we need to take that feeling when we feel it. We don't want to stuff it back down. We want to feel that emotion and give it to God. God, what do you say? What, you know, what do you say about this? What do you say about this reaction? So we can not have to take that step or take that step to forgiveness. And, or, you know, we don't want to go down that road of bitterness. God, what do you say? How I feel, um, because we can see sometimes through a veil of our own experiences in our lives. Um, so with the Wholeness Center, I have some next steps. Uh, I'm going to complete the holistic health coaching certification that I've been doing. And I'm going to find a Holy Spirit filled people <laughs> to assist with inner healing. Um, so example, Sozo Art, which is so funny, the Lord, one of my very good um, friends, popped up and told me she just got certified in sozo art didn't even know it was a thing so i'm super excited about that to connect with her and um i'm going to complete the bu budget and we're going to remodel the lower level of the building um because we need the healing room the workout room and then i can assist people to move their bodies in love we move our bodies in love while we're proclaiming the word of god um, there is something that happens when we move our body and we declare that word you know the god tells us to renew our minds right and when you move your body, the cells produce faster. So you're actually renewing cells in your brain and they go faster as you move. So why not say the word of God while we're moving our bodies and just kind of expedite that. He created that, right? He's so good. Um, <clears throat> so I also want to complete teachings for leadership development, identity and loving others and self. Um, to provide classes in these areas uh, that's needed for wholeness and discipleship um, and then create that instruction packet to go along with the daily wellness uh, check-in. Um, let's see. So I think, you know, to follow up, to finish up here, um, as a fitness minister, as a fitness missionary, so I can carry that word of God to proclaim, and um, people can move their bodies in love, and it's not the grit your teeth that are white knuckle through it, um, it's not going to be that type of physical, you know, the fitness center, you, you can scream if you need to, in the name of Jesus, scream, <laughs> um, <laughs> But let's not just scream to get it over with, right? Um, but the center focus is being spirit-led. So the fruits of the spirit are being flourished and healing is occurring. Um, and, and then and I am a carrier of the Holy Spirit, as are you. And um, my body is a tent and I'm bringing revival wherever I go. So let's be healed. And we can all claim that over ourselves. Um, so in conclusion, uh, I just want to read 3 John 1, 2 over you. Dear friend, I hope all is well with you and that you are as healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening in your time.